transverse abdominis. That is what this video is about. And this big old belly right here. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like the transverse abdominis gets totally misconstrued out there in the influencer world. The transverse abdominis is a deep core muscle that runs its horizontal fibers across this entire anterior sheath of our core. And reminder, our core is this entire cylinder from our diaphragm to our pelvic floor and all the muscles in between. And our goal here at BirthFit is to have a strong and dynamic core. And if you've heard me say this a million times, you'll hear it a million more times. You need two things for a strong and dynamic core. You need task specific intra abdominal pressure and you need all the stabilizers, all the muscles playing the game together. There is absolutely no muscle inside of our body, inside of our core section, even our pelvic floor, even our transverse abdominis that works in isolation. If there is somebody out there telling you that, or there's a program out there telling you that, that is bananas. <laughs> so the transverse abdominis hangs out, like I said, through on this entire front part of your abdomen area in this entire canister, core canister. The horizontal fibers are underneath your rectus abdominis, which is that six pack muscle and kind of everything else. Like it is that deep corset muscle. So a lot of the times I see out there people just focusing on this part of the transverse abdominis. And yes, that is important because the transverse abdominis starts kind of at these iliac crest, your inguinal ligament area. And then it runs all the way up to your xiphoid process and these lower ribs. Hello. So I kind of like to think of it in two halves. If you're focusing on the bottom half, you are thinking about these hip bones right here. And you're thinking about those specifically on the exhale. Whenever you exhale, you're thinking about these hip bones almost moving closer. There's not a sucking in. However, by default, when the transverse abdominis, when the whole thing is activated, the waist does get a little smaller, but we're not sucking in. We're literally thinking about these hip bones moving closer. If we're thinking about the top half, we're thinking about this rib cage, these bottom ribs moving closer. So in the big picture, we're thinking about our ribs and our hip bones here, our iliac crest, almost hugging the belly, right? But first we have to be able to do a regular diaphragm human breath in that neutral spinal position. Reminder, we use the neutral spinal position for so much inside the mother of transition training, prenatal and postpartum, because that's the first position you need to master before going beyond and training and all, all the other beautiful planes of motion. Yes, movement happens in all planes of motion, but we rehab, we prehab in this neutral spinal position. So neutral spine, rib cage stacked on top of your pelvis. So let's see if automatically that makes me bring my belly a little in. Yeah, here we go. So that's all really I had to do. Sometimes people have a significant rib flare. They need to bring that down. I just needed to bring my belt buckle up a little bit. Now here, I'm thinking about on the exhale, <sighs> hugging my belly. I'm gonna do a few so you can see. Let me see if that's a little better. You can see this muscle activation happening on the side. Let's see a few from the front. Let me find my spinal neutral. Inhaling, my rib cage is expanding. All 
All right, so as you can see, it's a little easier to see from the side. First thing, find that spinal neutral. Make sure you can diaphragm breathe here. Second thing, now you're starting to cre create that stability breath. With that stability breath, if you're specifically focusing on the transverse abdominis, you're thinking about hugging your belly. And then you can shake it out. So if we're trying to activate this on the ground or in other movements, yes, once we've mastered this in a standing, seated, supine position, then we start to incorporate in other movements. So if I'm on the ground, and let me see if I can alter this just a little bit, in a tabletop position, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this too well, but we'll try it. I'm doing literally the same thing I was doing up there. So we find that neutral spine position. Make sure I can breathe here. And then I'm going to do basically two to three TVA act activation breaths. Now, let me grab a little weight. Same thing. If we're adding load, we want to find that neutral spine position. Do. So now, this is a beautiful core exercise. I'm simply holding a load. You can use a kettlebell, two dumbbells, whatever. I'm challenging the system here. If I want to go in a strict press, I'm going to move on the exhale. And I'm thinking about my belly being hugged by these hip bones and the lower rib cage. Now, a few things. If you want to go to the ground, one of the most basic um, TVA kind of activation exercise is that heel slide. And you might have seen this. So we're here. We're finding that breath. You're doing the same thing on the ground while you're moving the heel, just like I did with the strict press. All right, so try it out. Like I said, first things to master are the neutral spinal position then making sure you can diaphragm breathe in that position. Then you're thinking about creating that stability breath with the focus on the transverse abdominis, which is what we're focusing on today. It might be a different muscle that you need to focus on for yourself, but um, we're talking about the TVA today. <laughs> After that, then you start to incorporate it in poses and movements. Specifically, we utilize the BirthFit Basics poses and movements. From there, then you can add load. So try it out. Remember, it's not a sucking in. It is a literally, these muscles are hugging your belly, hugging your baby. All right, let me know if you have any questions.